I'm guessing your main question about deep learning is how long it will take for the techniques to enable machines to enslave humanity. I'm afraid I don't know the exact timeline on that, but I can talk to you about how machine learning, deep learning, and artificial intelligence are related. You will need to understand some high-level things about machine learning and deep learning before you can understand how deep learning works. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning. So before we go deeper into deep learning, I'll talk more about machine learning. Most generally, machine learning is what its name implies. It's a subfield of computer science wherein machines learn to perform tasks for which they were not explicitly programmed. In short, machines observe a pattern and attempt to imitate it in some way which can be either direct or indirect imitation. I mention direct and indirect imitation as a parallel to the two main types of machine learning, supervised machine learning and unsupervised machine learning. Supervised machine learning is the direct imitation of a pattern between two data sets. It is always attempting to take an input data set and transform it into an output data set. This can be an incredibly powerful and useful capability. Consider the following examples. The input is on the left and the output is on the right. Using the pixels of an image to detect the presence or absence of a cat. Using the movies you've liked to predict movies you may like. Using someone's words to predict whether they are happy or sad. Using weather sensor data to predict the probability of rain. Using car engine sensors to predict the optimal tuning settings. Using news data to predict tomorrow's stock price. Using an input number to predict a number double its size. Using a raw audio file to predict a transcript of the audio. These are all supervised machine learning tasks. In all cases, the machine learning algorithm is attempting to imitate the pattern between the two data sets in such a way that it can use one data set to predict the other. Here is a summary of how the machines learn how to perform these tasks. Let's take the first example about determining if an image contains a cat. First, we feed the supervised learning algorithms with thousands of pictures, some with cats and some without. We also tell the algorithm which pictures have cats and which do not. The supervised learning algorithm will extract patterns from the data set. After it has learned these patterns, we can show it a picture and the algorithm will hopefully tell us whether a cat is in the picture or not. In industry, deep learning is used to solve practical tasks in a variety of fields, such as computer vision, focusing on images, natural language processing, focusing on text, and automatic speech recognition, focusing on audio. Problems in those fields can be solved without deep learning, but deep learning is particularly helpful in those fields. In short, deep learning is a subset of methods in the machine learning toolbox, primarily leveraging artificial neural networks, which are a class of algorithm loosely inspired by the human brain. One reason deep learning is called deep is because of the potentially many hidden layers in an algorithm. We'll start discussing hidden layers in Unit 3. Notice in this figure that not all of deep learning is focused around pursuing generalized artificial intelligence, which means a machine that can perform any intellectual task that a human can. In fact, many applications of this technology are applied to solve a wide variety of problems in industry. This course seeks to focus on learning the fundamentals of deep learning behind both cutting-edge research and industry, helping to prepare you for either. We've talked about how deep learning relates to machine learning and artificial intelligence. In the next unit, I'll go into more detail about the two main types of machine learning, 
supervise and unsupervised machine learning.